Yes. Are you aware if Mr. Perez was in fact investigated in terms of the allegations that was brought against him initially? Yeah, I know that the Attorney General, Mr. Sylvester, was tasked um, to conduct uh, and to carry out an investigation into those uh, allegations, so to speak. To me, there were just a lot of posts um, that were being shared uh, by WhatsApp and being shared on social media. And so I don't know if anything went beyond that. Um, I think at the time, um, based on that sort of information that was coming out, um, it seemed to have been somewhat of a consensual relationship. And so I don't think there was anything done further. As you know, um, neither party has come forward to the police department to make any sort of police report. Um, and certainly, uh, I think that is where that ended up. I'm only now seeing a Facebook post, which again, I don't even want to answer a question to that effect because we might be committing defamation of character by even repeating something like that when in fact a police report has not been made. And so it is always encouraged that if you have any sort of allegation to make, whether it's true or false, the court will decide whether it's true or false and, and perhaps the chips will fall where they made then. Um, but to me, this seems to be some, somewhat of a new allegation now being made. Do you welcome uh, back your, do you welcome your colleagues return to cabinet? Andre Perez, um, as you know, is one of the hardest working ministers. Um, he did a lot at civil aviation and, of course, uh, the blue economy. He's now reinstated as the minister of blue economy and he contributes a lot um, to our cabinet discussions and the decisions that we make at cabinet.